Welcome to WNL Sports Weekly. I'm Jeremy Franklin. Coming up, we'll speak with basketball captains Andy Carandy and Devin Kearns. First, I'm joined in the studio by Banks Holmes, senior swimmer from Raleigh, North Carolina. Banks, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. The Generals are 4-1 and one in dual meets. You also won the ODAC relays back in October. How has the first portion of the regular season gone for WNL? We're pretty happy with the first, first portion. Um, we have a smaller team than usual, and so it's... We were kind of nervous about that at the beginning, but it's good to see um, some of the younger guys stepping up and filling some spots that we weren't sure if we were going to um, sort of be able to have people in some relay spots and that type of thing. What's the field like for the WNL Invitational this weekend? Uh, it's a lot of area teams um, and a couple of conference teams, so we're looking forward to some good competition um, and seeing what we need to tune up before we get into training for the rest of the season. Um, that's what we got. The Natatorium opened midway through your college career. How has the new facility impacted the WNL program? It's great uh, having more space because um, in our old pool we had to run two practices a day. And so now that we can have the whole team in there at once, uh, we have a lot more competition. You're not trying to schedule your practice and your class schedules around practice and vice versa. So it's good to just be able to have everyone there at once competing and training together. Looking ahead, what are the general's expectations for the 2019 section of the schedule, including the upcoming postseason? Yeah, we're looking forward to some good competition at some training meets and then um, having a really good time at conference. Uh, I know we really want to take that home again and send some, guy some, send some guys to nationals. It would be great. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Good luck with the rest of the year. Thanks for having me. With me now is Andy Carandy, senior basketball captain from Atlanta. Andy, welcome to the show. Thank you. The Generals are currently 3-2 and two on the season. You had a big ODAC road win against Roanoke right before Thanksgiving. What's been working well for Washington and Lee in the first part of the year? Um, well, we've been playing really good defense. Um, last night we had a little bit of a slip up with Lynchburg, but at Roanoke I think the reason that we were so successful is that we were playing team de defense. We were talking the whole time. We were really communicating with each other and listening, which um, has been working well for us. Um, Taylor Casey was hitting like crazy. I think she had 36 points that game. So that really pushed us above the edge. But um, in general, I, I would say that our strength has been defense this year. It would be an understatement to say that WNL has a young team. Your roster features six first years and five returning players. You're the only senior. How are you approaching your leadership role? Um, well, I think that being a senior, it comes with a level of desperation. Um, it's my last year. I want to play as hard as I can on the court because I don't have that much time left. And as a senior this year, I'm trying to um, kind of bring some people along with me and make them realize that every single game is important no matter what. When you're on the court, you're taking someone else's time, so you need to give everything that you have. And I think that our team has been really responsive with that, which is amazing. Out of those first years, three are in the starting lineup. There's a fourth who gets significant minutes off the bench. How have those players responded so well and so quickly to college basketball? I think the way that they're handling it is they're not intimidated by anybody. They don't see the name Lynchburg and, you know, curl up or they don't see, they just see teams as teams and they come out there and really, I think they're just playing basketball. They're not thinking and I think that's what's making them successful is they're not overthinking anything. They're just playing how they know how to play and playing defense and listening to criticism from the coaches and from the um, returners, which I think is one of the reasons that they've been extra successful. What can the Generals accomplish in 2018-19? I think we have a, a lot that we can accomplish. Um, we're a completely different team this year. We were going into the season ranked eighth in the ODAC, which really motivated a lot of us. Um, we have a lot that people don't know about. Instead of looking at bigger picture this year, we're kind of looking at day by day. So yes, in the grand scheme of things, we want to win a NODAC championship, but we're focusing on um, winning every drill at practice and playing together, getting hype on the bench, you know, jumping up and down, supporting each other. Um, but I'd love to see some championships down the road for sure. Andy, thank you for joining us. Good luck throughout the year. Thank you for having me. Joining me in the studio is Devin Kearns, senior basketball captain from Cibolo, Texas. Devin, welcome back to the show. Good to be here. The Generals are currently 4-1 and one on the season. You had a very impressive 94-78 to 78 to win against Mary Washington, the previously unbeaten Eagles, in your home opener on Monday. How pleased have you been with the start to the year? Um, I've been pretty pleased. Uh, we could obviously do better. 4-1 and one still has a loss. So 
Um, during that game against Drew, we started out pretty slow, and they got a big lead on us. And then the rest of the game, we um, we played well. We actually outplayed them. So it's just that that uh, smudge on the record is the only concern I have. But other than that, I think we've been playing well. We've been clicking. Our chemistry is coming together really nicely. And I think we saw against Mary Washington that um, pretty much any guy on our team can go off at any point. Like Brueggemann had 29 points. Um, so I feel really good about where we're at, but we could always be better. During Chris McHugh's first season as head coach in 2017-18, it seemed like it took the Generals a few games to adjust to a new style of basketball. Mm -hmm. Now that you've played a full year in that system, do you feel like you've been able to hit the ground running this season? Yeah, for sure. I mean, <clears throat> you can see what we did during the preseason, how we approached it. Um, we were able to skip over a lot of things that we're, we, last year we were laying the foundation. This year, the foundation was already kind of laid. So we could move forward offensively and defensively with different uh, strategies that we wanted to do, different plays we wanted to call. We could implement those early on during preseason play, um, whereas last year we, we put those in more halfway through the season. WNL starts ODAC play with a pair of big row games this week. You go to number 17 Randolph-Macon tonight and to Virginia Wesleyan on Saturday. How are the generals approaching those two contests? Uh, like we approach every game. Uh, every game is important for the season, especially when you're trying to get an at-large bid to go to the tournament. Um, obviously, those are two uh, pretty big games for us because they're conference games, and those are pretty really good opponents that we have really good competitions with every year, and they're road games. So I think there's a heightened level of focus, but in terms of preparation, we go into it with the same mindset, the same process, and ultimately it's about how we play not necessarily how they play and how we react to them. It's about how we play and making sure that on every facet of the game, we buckle down and do it, do it the right way. What are the general's expectations for the 2018-19 season? Um, we expect to do better than last year. We expect to win an ODAC. Um, we expect to play to our best potential. And what that looks like, we don't necessarily know because we haven't seen it yet. But we, it's safe to assume that it looks like a really good season, really good winning record, and hopefully some championships along the way. Devin, thank you for joining us. Best of luck throughout the year. Thanks for having me. It's time now for a look at the upcoming weekend. Track and field kicks off the indoor season at Roanoke's Bast Kreger Invitational, while wrestling will compete at Ohio Northern. Women's basketball has a home contest against Emory and Henry, and men's hoops travels to Virginia Wesleyan and swimming will play host to the WNL Invitational, which begins on Saturday evening. For WNL Sports Weekly, I'm Jeremy Franklin. Thanks for watching.